Hello, and welcome to Our Time with Flory. We are now at the end of summer. It is September. Some of you already started school. Some of you are going to start school. So I thought it would be great to do something really fun for the end of our summer season. Now, our art project today is called Summer Crazy Hair. Yes, we're going to have so much fun making this. If at any time you need help, remember, you can always put pause. I'll be here waiting for you and ask a grown up to come and help you. Now, the list of materials is listed below in our description box, along with the links to where you can get your art supplies. Now, let's get started and go over all the things you're going to need to complete this fun art project. All right, kids. Let's go over the list of materials that you'll be needing in order to complete our last summer art project. All right, so you're going to need a water bottle or a cup of water, an eraser, a sketch pencil. We're using a 2B, but a regular pencil works out just fine. A towel or paper towel, a spatula, a mixed media art paper could be size 7 by 10 or 9 by 12 and you'll need some paint brushes so right here we have our flat squared brush it's also called a filbert we will also be using our round it's our number four round brush and our liner brush which is a 10 and the beautiful fan brush. You'll also be needing a paint palette to place your paints on and the paints that we're going to be using for today's art project is yellow, red, brown, a little bit of black, blue, green, violet, aquamarine, neon pink, regular pink works out fine, white, and yellow green. All right, kids, let's get started. So we're going to get started. So we're going to start with sketching a face. So I need to make sure that I have enough room for my hair. So I'm going to start. I like to center my pencil in the middle and kind of pull it down. And this is where I want it to start. So I'm gonna do a nice horizontal line. Now, and then what we're gonna start doing is start Going downward, and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And I'm slowly going, sketching downward, right? And because I want to make sure that both sides are the same. And so, what you can do is So it kind of looks like it's curving down a little. It's like a square on this side. So I'm going to start curving it a little bit more, right? So everybody's face is different, right? We have heart shape, square faced, oval, circle. I have an oval face. So you can make it, you can create your the, the the shape of your face the of the face on this art piece like yours or you can just create your own whatever you want so what I'm going to do is this time I'm just gonna kind of curve it down because I have a nice oval round face and now if you notice I am kind of sketching A more oval look to the side and I'm going to grab my eraser so for your eraser if you notice there's like brown 
I like to erase that out to make sure that it's clean. So it doesn't, so the, the dark um, pencil shade to it doesn't transfer onto my paper because that happens sometimes depending on the quality of your eraser. So if you don't have a very good eraser, this is what I recommend to do. This is actually a very good eraser, so I'm artist off. So I'm going to go ahead and erase the shaded parts, right? And I like to use my fan brush not only for painting, but just kind of cleaning off the eraser particles away from my painting. It's like a little broom. <laughs> like a nice little sweeper cleans it off nice and then you can always dust it off like on the side uh, before you use it for painting oops so I'm gonna go ahead and erase this part right here because I extended my shape now we're gonna take away this little square look now I'm gonna Make sure I erase any lines that don't belong because I do want to paint. So I'm going to go ahead and see that square? You could just curve it to make your face look round. That's one way to do it. So I'm pretty happy with the shape of the face that I created. Now I'm just outlining it better. I'm going to go ahead and So I added the shoulders, create, instead of going too straight out, you want to add a nice little curve towards the end. And we're just going to keep it simple. We're going to add a line, and there's my shirt. All right, and let's go ahead and sweep off all the particles probably going to use it again so now we're going to create our facial body parts so our eyes nose and mouth so what i'm going to start off with are my actual eyes i'm just going to be really dramatic whoops made my eyes a little too big I want to make it even sorry about that kids this is part of the learning process all right now what I want to do is create some space kind of Perfect. So it looks like I'm closing my eyes and these are my eyebrows, but they're not. So I'm go going to go ahead and get a little dramatic here and make my Awesome. 
All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and create my eyebrows right here. And don't worry, we're going to make them thicker with paint. But this is just a nice outline. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add our pupils. Perfect. And we'll just create a line for the nose. Now, your nose doesn't have to be exactly like mine. So this is the tricky part. There we go. Dust off. Now I'm going to add my mouth, which is my screaming mouth. And uh, you don't have to do that. If you just wanna add a smile, that's okay. I kind of just want to have fun. So I kind of made my mouth a little too big, so it looks like I have no chin. So let's fix that. I got excited. So I'm going to go ahead, give a little space for a chin. <laughs> As you can see, I am, there we go. So it's okay if you erase, you make a little mistake. Sometimes you go a little fast, take your time. That's exactly what I did. I went a little too fast. But this is the whole part of learning to draw, right? All right. my lines whoops I don't know what happened here there we go so let's add our ears I have small little ears, so I like to make sure that they align. All right. Oops, went on the line again. This is why it's handy to have an eraser. Okay, so. I feel like I'm ready. And what I'm going to do is erase the top part. Right. Okay. So we don't really need to erase anything. So this is what I have so far. Go ahead. Dust off your, your fan brush. If you don't have a little fan brush, go ahead and use your hand. Make sure those hands are clean though. Perfect. All right, I am done with our sketch. Now I'm gonna clean off my fan brush, put it back where it needs to go and Let's get started with painting. All right, so now that we're done with our sketch, you're gonna grab your wash brush. You're gonna dip it into your water and you're going to add water to your entire paper. All right, let's keep it going.
making sure that we're wetting every part of it so we can glide on. There we go. Beautiful. I just love gliding water because it's going to, when we add our colors around, it's just going to just, you know, be easier. I just love to see the different colors bleed in together. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and um, get a little pink. So if you notice, I added some water right here. Get some of that pink and let's go ahead and It's okay if you paint over the skin because we're going to go over it with some skin tone. Beautiful. Look at my beautiful, amazing color. So we're not just going to add pink. I want to encourage you to, to find other colors that you can add. So after I'm done spreading my pink all around the face, I'm going to go ahead, put it aside, and I'm going to grab my round brush. I'm going to dip it in. I'm going to go ahead and get some yellow and start twisting, letting the colors kind of bleed in in different random parts of our art project. So you don't have to add yellow. If you're feeling like you want to add blue, go right ahead. Get a little bit of yellow and red. Makes a lot of color. Orange. I want to add a little orange here. I'm adding more yellow to make it more tangerine. And I'm going to get my brush in and just kind of add little parts of it, right? And then I'm going to put this brush aside. My pad. Okay. Get all the big stuff. Okay. So a drop of water just fell, so now it's just kind of bleeding through. What I'm going to do is grab my, my round brush, kind of twist it, turn it. See how I'm moving it around? So I'm going to go ahead and get some aquamarine. Got some water here. I'm going to do the same thing. I can't forget the day we met Your eyes so blue, me pressing through I can't forget the day we met Your smile so bright, it made me small our love is like a summer's day, hot sun and less in a magic way, whatever I see you. For the face, we're going to go ahead and start 
with uh, our shirt. So did you already decide what color you want it? I am going to use a little blue on this side here. And I'm gonna grab my painter's palette and I'm gonna grab just a tiny, oh, I already got blue. I meant to grab a tiny bit of white and we're gonna blend it. Get a nice little sky blue. And that's the color of my shirt. I want my shirt to pop and I think using sky blue will do the trick. So we're gonna set our little painter spatula aside and have a little brush Blend it in a little. And go ahead and add a line. And then we're going to add water to pull down the colors. So here we go. I'm going to grab my wash brush. And I'm going to pull down the color. See how I did that? And I'm just wetting the tip of my brush. And we're starting a nice shade of blue. So this is a nice little trick that you can learn. You can outline and pull down the colors when you are doing a watercolor painting. Perfect, so now I'm gonna grab some more paint and just add some color. Pretty awesome. So this is our end of the summer, September, <laughs> our project. This is where we start in school, right? Ah! <laughs> so some of you are probably excited to go to school and others maybe not, right? That's okay. So if you're excited, you can scream, ah, oh, yes. And if you're not, you can scream, oh, no. And it's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab my round brush again and grab a little blue and just kind of outline it, make sure that it looks nice. Grab some more glue and do the same thing to the other side. And I'm going to clean up the details. Beautiful. Okay, so now that we're done with that. We're going to go ahead and uh, rinse both of our brushes from our water bottle and kind of shake it to make sure all the paint is nice and gone. Okay, so what I want to do, put this aside for right now, we're also going to clean up our little spatula brush and I'm rubbing against the, the glass because it helps rinse it off quicker. But what you can also do is once you rinse it off, use the towel and slide it and it's clean. So we are going to create the color of our skin tone. Now I have brown skin tone, so for me, I want to add a nice, beautiful bronze tan colored skin because, you know, it's summer. So what we're going to do is we're going to Add some white. We're going to make sure we take out the blue. We don't really need blue, so I'm going to make sure that I clean out my 
my spatula and I'm going to get a little bit of brown. Add it to white. And this is how you can create your tan. So if you want your skin tone to be darker, you can do that. Now, if you want to make it your skin color and you're not tan or have um, brown skin, what I like to do is I will typically use some white, orange, orange you say, and a little pink sometimes. It's a little red tone. So I'll help you, um, I'll show you how to do that. So what you can do is you can get some white and we'll add it right here just so you can see the color tones. And since we already have some orange here, We can add it to so it kind of makes like a peach skin tone. So if you want your skin tone be, to be a little bit more lighter, then this is the color that you would. Um, but for today, I'm going to use tan because I'm tan. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my face is wet. Make sure that your brush is super clean. Okay? So I'm going to wet my face. My beautiful face and my neck. I'm going to go ahead and start my, I'm going to spread my we're going to try not to paint around the eyes so we're going to grab a little dry brush and roll it. This is a good trick that you can learn. I'm going to go ahead and grab my tan. And I'm bringing down the color. See how I'm doing that? I got some white here, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll it with a dry brush. And so what you can do is you can dry your your wash brush and just really work on layering. brush we're gonna grab our number 10 liner brush I'm gonna go ahead grab my um, round brush and just put it back and we are going to dip our little liner brush and I'm gonna start with red and I'm going to create some cool bangs and this is the part where we get to have fun. And then I'm adding swirls. And don't worry, we're going to add totally different colors. So I have wavy hair, so I'm gonna create wavy hairs going up. There's so much static that my hair is going crazy, or so excited the school's, you know, starting, or I'm 
so sad and going out of my mind that summer's over. Go ahead, create those waves. And like I said, you can create waves or you can just make straight, you know, make your hair go straight up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my brush a little bit and get some blue. Yes, you heard me. Get some blue. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our liner number 10, dip it a little, just the tip part, and you're going to go ahead and we're going to paint our eyes. So my eyes are brown. Now I'm going to go ahead and do brown. Your eyes are blue, green, whatever color you want, do it. But just for today's project. I am going to make her eyes red. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Make sure that my paintbrush is wet so I can spread the brown. Not too much though. A little brown. Beautiful, look at that. I'm gonna play with my brown just a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna continue with my brown and I'm going to outline my face. <laughs> All right, kids, now that you've completed your amazing summer crazy hair, if you had fun and you learned a thing or two, go ahead, click on the button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Our Time with Flory, so you can get notifications of our fun upcoming fall season tutorial art classes. Yes. All right, kids. I hope to see you soon. Bye.